Welcome to the new kitten. You can't see them, but they're behind the tower. So you can see. You can see. You can see Sully's backside. Mama's in. So the kittens are behind the tower. Mama's inside the tower. They're pretty sleepy, so you may not see much action for a little bit until they charge up and come out and start exploring. And can you hear me okay on the cam? So he's back there cleaning himself. He laid in his food bowl inside the carrier. Actually, he kind of fell asleep in it. The kittens are not all that skittish. It's a new room for them, though. Those new smells. That's Sully. I'm not going to spend much time in here for at least the first day just so mama can relax, come out, sniff the room and stuff. But you'll probably see me sitting in here reading for a while for long periods just so that mama can get used to actually seeing me. I don't know if they're litter trained yet so I didn't put the towel down, I mean the blanket. using a big old turkey basting pan with a litter box because it's easy to clean. But the plastic ones get scratched up and potential for things to stay behind in the scratches. are approximately nine weeks old. They were found underneath the barn. They were brought inside by a kind lady to keep them warm. Mama was spayed last weekend, or a week ago, during a free neuter spay clinic. And then they were brought to the shelter today to be surrendered. Let's see. Mom's name is Dory. She's estimated to be two years old. You can, their current plan, the current plan is to have them here for three weeks. The kittens had really bad air mites, so they're being, they were treated for that. really caging them in there's no point I mean, being nine weeks old it'll be always over the fence anyways 
The fence is still up, but it's around the door to keep the kittens from dashing out as soon as the door opens. And when one of the kittens is named Dash, you uh, don't want to risk it. But the camera is attached to the fence. I got I have a, the new HP webcam installed. The webcams I've been using previously had a problem with the driver causing the computer to crash and reboot. So I'm trying out this one to see how it does. The mom is skittish, but she's not fearful. She won't hiss or growl or swat. And she doesn't fight you if you catch her. Not that other her tail tucked in a little closer. Okay, guys, you don't need to lay in the litter box. I'm just showing you where it's at. They did get a lot of interaction from the people that rescued them, so they're not feral. Hopefully I can get Mama to relax. Hey Mom, let's pull this off your butt, uh, from underneath your butt. camera is higher than it has been in the past. It's on the second to the highest horizontal bar. There is a storage area over there that you can't see. If the ears look wet, it's from the ear mite medicine. They had a really bad case of it. There we go. It's a hesitant tail lift, but it's a tail lift. Hey, we got a purr. You smell like cat food. They're both boys. Last, uh, after the last fosters were adopted, you may have seen the post on the Critter Room on Facebook that Becky was 
um, Becky's husband wanted to make a or Becky wanted to make a donation for her um, my marker birthday and instead of gifts she wanted to do a donation and so her husband made a large donation to Perfect Pals and showed my appreciation for that and said that she could name one of the one of the kittens for the next foster or the next uh, set that I get but since two months passed I told her that she could name the entire foster so she came up with the Pixar fosters and the names Okay, I'll go ahead and let them explore the room, find the toys. I had a lot of toys in there, but Mama's laying on them. are older so I'm moving the laptop or the keyboard so that the kittens can't walk on it. I keep finding search engines loaded when I do or when they do step on it. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.